Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you Hello can join me in and appreciating this to really beautiful match. evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something. A beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest. But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena. Absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. And already we're underway here. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real great leap! Good delivery, but no joy. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Looking for options for movement. And that's been... He's had a shot! It's a promising build up this plenty of really nice passing out of play for a throw over to the left fires it in low it's a pretty loose pass. Has a shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. They've played it short. Looking for the runner, and that's played in low. And now they can spring out of defence. Stood up well to him there. Passing is crisp and sharp. And that's not going to reach. He's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Pops him off it and wins back the ball. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. Here it is, crossed in. Stuck it away as if laser guided. Well, Peter, I think the keeper knew straight away he was never going to get to it. The goal score for Thailand after 26 minutes is number seven. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Shin to shin, bicep to bicep, and he wins out. Oh, that's a key interception. 
Uzbekistan are really in a position where patience and prudence will serve them. Decent hit! Well, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Out to the left it goes. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Knocks it out wide. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. And he has shown him a yellow card. Uzbekistan certainly could do with a positive spell for the remainder of this half, just to set the tone for what's to come. Played out to the right. Now this could be a chance. Effort, beautifully taken. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. And he stands tall, impenetrable. That is good pressure, just hounded him off it. And it's played forward. Two added minutes has been indicated. And it's come back to the keeper. Played out to the left flank. Not the most accurate pass. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Not, not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. And please welcome our lads to the field. So off we go once more. Uzbekistan don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Can he latch on to this? Gets his head to it! He has saved the goalkeeper's blushes there. What great defending. That is a little undercooked.
No, no way through there. Threads one in. There's the shot! It's there! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, at one stage, he was being body-checked, Peter, and then the next minute, it's in the back of the net. That's wonderful striking. Number nine. starting to look very comfortable we're looking at a very different game now the command has been established passes coming off in quick succession here look they've had their chance to regroup and rethink now they've got to stir a revival and for a moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again Quite squeeze that one through. The attendance for this match was 80,607. Passing is crisp and sharp. have beautifully policed that midfield. The opposition have been handcuffed. Shot a goal! And that is doing no harm at all. Well, probably not the best way to try and get back into this game, but it could spark something into life. That is good strength. Back into the middle. Pinches it off him. He's under a lot of pressure there. Just about up to 75 minutes. Good spot, he's seen the run. He's in plenty of space here. Now then, the ball's come loose. Well seen, saw that coming. He's a sharp little ball here. Now that's been intercepted. And he's lost his man here. Spread out to the left. This game seems as if it's going to go beyond a rescue point. Uh, so they need a goal and fast just to raise spirits and at least give their fans something to cheer. Showing great feet there. Oh, that's neat. Plenty to enjoy about the build-up there, not so much the finish. Well, that's how you penetrate the numbers, with very shrewd movement and passing precision, and all done at pace.
Well, that was a period of possession which carried just about no threat at all. And that's it. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat, a thoroughly disappointing outcome. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? I suppose they might admit to not having the best 90 minutes of possession with the ball, but they were harried continually by a team that seemed to want it that bit more. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. Just a quick announcement. We would like to inform you that CCTV is now in operation for your safety.